जे तू ना फड़दा Jee, I don't know when, you know what I'll say here, but I'll just say from my heart, and that's what I plan for. Um, I got connected to Guruji in 2018 when I was having a personally a hard time. I was going through my own struggles, and like everybody else, I did not believe in any Guruji, or I used to think like it's all a drama. So when my mom and my sister They were introduced to Guruji by Ajat uncle, and then when he told me and my family told me to come here, I thought like, you know, I don't know what's happening to them. Probably they need to go to a psychiatrist. And um, I was like, you know, I shouldn't go there. But mom was telling me that they serve great longer. So I was like, yeah, you know, why not? The food is always nice. So I went there. Uh, to my surprise, I started crying. Um, I. Start crying. I started releasing all that was inside me, and I felt great. I felt like something changed within me. I was able to talk to somebody that you know I couldn't see, but I could believe in. So that's how I started getting connected to Guruji. I started talking to him. I thought anything I want, you know, I'll just say Guruji, and it will happen. It doesn't happen like that. So you know, he's not our Jimmy, but he tells you how to live life. He tells you that there is hope. He tells you if there is something bad, there will be something good that will happen soon. And what he gives to us, it could be challenges, it could be hard times. Those are just to make us feel stronger, be stronger, so that we can live our life happily after. So Guruji's way of you know challenging you is you know also his way to make you stronger and to live a better life. Um, like I was saying, you know, it's not like when you start getting connected to Guruji, everything will happen. Uh, he'll test you. But for me, at that point, it was my job. I was trying to find a job. I couldn't find it. Um, there were each one challenges for myself, um, and I told my mom, I was like, I'm going to leave this country because I need to work right now, or else I'll not be myself. So. And, you know, one month before the deadline I gave myself, I just go to an uh, interview on Thursday, and the same day they tell me you're hired. So, you know, again, I start believing, you know, in Guruji more and more. Um, similarly, I was driving on a highway. Um, it was snowing that day. My car, because I was, you know, not driving carefully at that point, you know, my car skid. Uh, on a LI in New York, and it skid horizontally. So. You know, I was like, I'm definitely gonna get hit by a car. It didn't happen. It felt like Guruji stopped the time for those two, three seconds. My car went from one side to another, and nothing touched my car, and it stopped right before it hit the other side. So, those are all great miracles and things that Guruji has done for me, saving my life, giving me a job, giving me, you know, all the hope that I need to live a good life. Um, apart from that, he. He's definitely taught me discipline. He's taught me, you know, how to love people, how to communicate with people, and that's I think is the best thing to be with Guruji. You feel like you are with someone. You are with someone who you can share your things with. You are with someone who will take care of everything that you want him to, and will give you the best, not what you want, but what is good for you. Uh, some of the recent miracles that happened with me was. Um, Uh, this year, I was driving um, at night, Saturday night. It was um, it was in Jersey City. I was driving. Uh, my my foot got stuck on the gas, so so I couldn't brake um, right by the red light. So I had a car in front of me. I was at 20. Um, when I hit the car, it was around 25. So they called the police, um, and the police, uh, to all of our surprise, they said, "Why don't you sort out between yourselves?" It is very surprising, and I was very annoyed with myself. I was like, you know, why did this happen to me? Um, I go back, I sleep, and I get a dream. I get a dream that you know I'm fighting somewhere, and all of a sudden there is something happening to me, and then I die, and I see my soul leaving my body, and you know, right in the middle of the dream, I just you know I'm just probably like consciously or unconsciously I'm just saying Jagoji, and I. 
I woke up and then I'm like all sweating and I'm like, oh my God, Grady just saved my life. You know, probably there was something big that was hap about to happen to me which didn't happen and it was a small accident. So Guruji just gives you one tenth of what you will get if you're not connected to him. He just reduces all your problems. He doesn't remove everything but definitely reduces them. Uh, this year, last year actually, mom also got diagnosed with cancer and um, you know, yes, it's, it's a hard you know, disease and everything but because we all are connected with Guruji, because we have the Guru Sangat, it just feels everything is positive. Like, you know, you you go and you think that, you know, it's a big problem, anything could happen, but then we have this hope that whatever Guruji is doing, he's doing it for ourselves. He's doing the right thing for ourselves, for our mind, for our heart, for our lives. So he just changes your perspective about everything. You start living a different life. You start living a life which is full of hopes and which is full of possibility. Um, <laughs> and then you never stop surprising you. Uh, today I was not supposed to come here. Today I was thinking I'll probably just, you know, the study. We'll have an exam tomorrow. And I told my mom that I was like, if even if we go, we'll just leave at 7:30. Uh, sorry, 8:30. And then Arthi Auntie showed up at 7:45, and she's like, why don't we do satsang? So I was like, okay, that's how Guruji tells you, you know, life is going to be full of surprise, but he'll give you the right surprises, hopefully. Jai Guruji.